Hey guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com and I'm here every week with new videos about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. So if you're into this, come on over and subscribe because it'd be so great to have you here. And in this video, I'm talking about one of my favorite energy healing techniques, which is also one of my favorite manifesting techniques all rolled into one, and it's called Bangston Image Cycling. I've made a few videos about this before, and in fact, I have a whole playlist about Bangston if you're interested, just check it out. But first and foremost, this energy healing technique is so effective on the physical body. It works on a whole host of ailments, including cancer, and it's been studied and proven to be effective in numerous laboratory experiments. So if you're into learning about the experiments that Bill Bangston did to prove the efficacy of this energy healing technique, just go to bangstonresearch.com. There's a lot of info there. But that in and of itself is like awesome and why I love it. But what makes it even better is the actual practice, which is called image cycling, is one of the most potent and powerful forms of manifesting that I've ever experienced. I've been doing this going on five years now, and the way that it works just never ceases to amaze me. So in order to start to generate the Bangston energy, what you do is make a list of about 20 things that you want to have or experience in your life. And in making that list, you really deep dive into what it would be like to have this in your life. And that I think is number one, like a really powerful way to manifest. In fact, some people just do that alone as a manifesting technique, like imagine what they want to have and they focus on it. They create the emotion behind it and they create it as if they already have it. And that's, that's just it, right? But Bangston takes it further, and I'm going to talk about that. But again, just the idea of focusing on what you want, imagining it as if it's already happened, and then feeling it and feeling the joy and how you would feel if you had it is really powerful. So that's the first step with Bangston, which is why I think it's a potent form of manifesting. The second is your list, those 20 things, is never stagnant. In fact, Bill is sometimes maddening when he tells us this, rip up your list, just rip up the whole list and create a whole new one. But those of us who are really into image cycling, we're always updating and maintaining the list. So what I wanted yesterday, maybe I don't want it today, or maybe I got it, so I gotta take it off the list. If I decide I want something else, I put it on the list. The list is a living, breathing energy filled with your desires and so the fact that it's always moving and it's not stagnant and it's up to date and current with your current desires is another thing that makes it powerful and then the third and the most important part of the whole recipe is the cycling itself so what you do is you take those 20 things that you want to have at least 20 and you put them on some kind of apparatus that spins like a clock face a rolodex anything you can think of and you start to spin like you, you encapsulate what you want with an image like a picture and then with all those 20 or more things you spin them around and around and that is what generates this incredible energy the spinning the cycling is what creates the energy that comes out initially of your left hand that you can place you do hands on healing with someone and it will help eliminate the disease in the body but what I feel and what someone else actually suggested that this is like creating a torsion field which magnetizes what you want into your life the spinning there's something about it it creates this energy you can feel the momentum when you're cycling and some have likened it to like a portal to the future where it draws in what you have wanted what you've said you wanted to create in your future it magnetizes it into your life so those three things the list the maintenance of the list the currency keeping the list current and then the cycling itself is what makes this so amazing with manifesting and those of us who do it it's things come off the list all the time like you get stuff that you want you get stuff on your list it's it's incredible um 
you know, about once a year or so, I co-host a Bankston workshop. So if you'd like to learn this technique for yourself, check out the description in YouTube below and I'll have info there if I'm doing a workshop with somebody else. And check out bankstonresearch.com too because of course there's always up to date and there's always um, stuff you can learn there. But before I go, I would love to hear if you have an experience with Bankston or if you have your own specific technique that you found is really good with manifesting. It's so fun to talk about this and to, to share our thoughts and ideas. So just put it in the comments below. And thanks so much for being here today. I will see you next time. Bye.